8.50 a.m. This Monday morning on the 29th of April 2024. Sitting out here in the woodlands. And I got a little bit of a topic I'd like to bring up and talk about. How well do you know the land that you live upon? No, I'm not talking about the land where you live. I'm not talking about the history of countries or the lands. At least not in the sense that you might be thinking. I'm talking about the actual ground, the land. Let's go back to the stories of the gods, the ancient gods. No, I'm not talking about the biblical God or Jesus or Moses. Remember, he was labeled as a God. All right, even your Bible speaks of gods. Even though you have been brainwashed into believing one God. Understand your religion, understand your Bibles. Because it states that Moses was declared by God as a God, we are talking of gods. Now, the Bible, within the first few chapters, is retelling of stories much, much older than Christianity. Much, much older than the Gnostics, the writings of the Gnostics. We are talking about the original stories, the oldest stories in history. And what do those stories tell us? That there were, let's just say people that came here from another planet. It is described their travels here and what they've seen, the planets that they came by on their way here. We know of these planets from here going outward. They describe them from outward coming in. There were no telescopes. There, were, there was no astrophysicists, astrologists, or excuse me, astro uh, yeah. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. So how can we further prove the stories of these ancient gods? Look at the land. More specifically, look at your topographical maps of the countries that you live in. Now, as far as European countries, I'm not so sure. But when you talk about the United States, South America, Africa, and a couple of other continents or countries you will see some similarities some commonalities it states in the ancient stories that those so-called gods those people that came here they explored for gold they needed gold now how can we prove this how can we prove the stories of so-called giants, which maybe these giants were actually not what you've been believing, such as dinosaurs, although there might have been. Understand, wow, that was really a cool glitch there too. I was holding my camera still and it just kind of went sideways. All right, so. Here in the United States, on the East Coast and the West Coast, we have mountain ranges that run north and south. In between, we have the Great Plains. Out in Wyoming, we have what is known as the Devil's Tower. That is an ancient tree stump, a huge, huge tree stump. Go over to Africa, you'll find the same thing. Go down to South America. 
you will find the same thing as far as these large tree stumps that have been labeled as some kind of mount, mountain, tower. No. And they were cut. The tops of them. You can tell. From above looking down, you can see full well that these are, in fact, ancient, ancient, gigantic tree stumps. This was part of the excavation process. The scraping, the clearing of the land. Back then, gold could be found on the surface. Didn't really have to dig for it. Just had to scrape the top layers. And that is what these so-called gods did. No, I do not believe in tectonic movements that created the mountain ranges here in the United States. There's just too much evidence that this was done through excavation measures. I should know. I have experience in excavation. A wide variety of experience. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this. Look at those topographic maps. Look at the labeling of some of those landmark locations. What they are named, especially here in the United States. Out west. Those areas that have Egyptian names. Named after the gods. Why? Do you know how long scientists have actually known about this? And they are not allowed or permitted to speak of this topic? Why? Because it, was do, it would also help do away with religion, at least the religion that you have been brainwashed into. The programming. The actual stories are there in your Bibles, people. But you need to understand those more ancient stories and compare them in order to really see the reality. Yeah. Bible tells all, right? All explains everything. No. The ancient stories do. Go to my playlist. On the ancients. Learn about the land that you live upon, the, topo the topography. People, you are being very foolish if you are staying skeptical and closed-minded because of what you have been brainwashed into, what you have been programmed into believing. Remember, this country in the United States was set up on that so-called book, religious freedom and all that. Man being equal. It's all garbage, people. The gods still control this place. And there is a fight. Here, on this surface and there is warfare going on up there go ahead call it spiritual warfare if you want I have seen the warfare with my own eyes I have seen the plasma burst from from these crafts I've been trying to show you these crafts they're coming people They're here. You better get a grip and understand who we're going to be dealing with. Once again, go to those playlists that I have of the ancients and do your research on the Anunnaki and, and the Nephilim and, and then go to Aspects of Religion, that playlist. Wake up before it's too late.
Let's step outside. Yes, outside of the woodlands and see what we have in the sky. All right, so we have stepped out from the tree line and looking around. And of course, you know, I'm out here in just a pair of gym shorts and eyes are on me. They're always on me. These people around here have nothing better to do. So, now, currently all along uh, the western, our Michigan western shoreline of Lake Michigan, we have a long, you know, I'm just going to say it, a state long chemtrail of precipitation because that's all precipitation is anymore is chemtrails and I don't give a bloody rat's ass what this platform has to say about it I'm tired of their lies and deceptions and corruption and as I speak we have an aircraft coming over it's a second one just within a couple of minutes they are not visible Yeah, there's that ball of light up there. They are not visible. You might even be able to hear it. Don't know. Don't care. I don't pay attention to weather reports anymore. If I do, I take it with a grain of salt. So I have no clue what this day has in store. Don't really care. Because I am slowly realizing that my sub subscribers really don't care either. The brainwashed, the foolish, the closed-minded, the skeptical, they can't accept what I have to show and share anymore. They are unsubscribing. Good riddance, goodbye, go away. If you can't handle it, it just goes to show that you can't handle shit. What are you going to do when the end times come? When, they, when shit really hits the fan? Oh, hold that book dearly. It's going to protect you. <laughs> yeah. We've all seen the exorcism. Or the exorcist, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Are you strong enough to really battle demons? <laughs> demons, please. You know, the gods were no more than, than us. They are us. We are them. We were created in their image. It's in your Bibles, come on. It doesn't say that we were created after the image of him or her. No. In the image of us. We are them. They are us. Come on, people. This is not common. This is not reality here straight line sharp edges wake up if I got the intelligence to show you all this stuff and be able to explain it what else am I correct upon if you don't like it get the hell off my channel goodbye